All right, everyone, I'm going to get started here explaining how to locate objects as objects in a plane mirror. Go nice and slow. Take my time. So the first thing is here's your object. This would be your viewer. Um, there's your measurement that you've done with your ruler. But because we are working online and we can't measure with a ruler, I provided you a measurement, a non-standard measurement of clicks. I used uh, clicks on my keyboard. So I. Uh, First, I click on the object itself. I press Control, CTRL, and D to duplicate it. Um, when you do that in Google, it tends to move it. So you do two clicks up and two clicks to the left, and now it's right over top. So now your image and object are right on top of each other exactly. So I know it's 20 clicks of the arrow away from the mirror. So I'm not going to count that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 clicks away from the mirror. I must position the image exactly the same distance away from the mirror, so I now do another 20 clicks. Um, usually you would do this with a ruler to figure out how far to position the image from the mirror, but because we can't just do this with rulers, we're using a non-standard unit of measure with clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now our object and our image are the same distance from each other. So um, usually you would do something um, where you would like measure it out. Um, and when you'd measure it out, you'd do like an object image line. So it would be an object image line from the top of the one to the top of the other. And they would be exactly the same um, distance um, apart. So you could do something like an object image line. Um, I do not need you to do an object image line um, in this, but that would be your object image line right there if you were doing that, but we don't need to do that. So once you've positioned your image, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab an arrow and you're going to go from the tip of your object all the way over to one of the corners of the eyes. And the nice thing about you doing this in Google Drawings is it actually shows up those little purple um, snap points and you just want to go to the corner of the eye so it actually does that for you. Uh, you'll repeat that step where you go from the end of your image all the way over to the corner of the eye. And again, those snap points show up and those snap to the corner of the eye. Beautiful. Once you've done that, ooh, I'm going to actually redo that. I'm going to, sorry, go from the end of my object all the way to the corner of the eye. So we're just going to do this end of the object first. So once you've done that, because we're working on the top of the um, image, we're now going to draw the light that's going from the um, object to the mirror then to your eye and because you did this first this is actually the line that you're you're drawing what your brain is perceiving and the reflected ray so this half of the line right here from this point right here all the way over that's actually the reflected ray um, you have the extension of the reflected ray right, ray right here you just need the incident ray so to draw the incident ray i go from the top of my object i go over to the mirror and i'm actually just going to make it half go Right where that, um, right where my reflected ray and the mirror meet. So that is good. There's my instant ray, there's my reflected ray, and there's what my brain extends. Just to finish this off, I'm going to add my normal real quick. My normal um, starts, and I'm going to zoom in just so you can really see where I'm drawing this. I'll just zoom in a little bit there. Um, my normal is going to start at the surface of the mirror and extend up to draw perfectly. Um, perpendicular one to my surface. If you hold down the shift key, it lets your line more easily lock or snap. I'm just going to snap it to right there. Um, I don't want it to be an arrowhead on the end. I want it to be a dotted line because it's the normal. You can extend it if you'd like to, make it a little bit longer. Um, and you can also adjust your dot type. So if that's a dot type that you like. That looks good to me. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. I'm now going to repeat this process. So I go from the tip of my object to the surface of the mirror to show the instant ray that's then bouncing to my eye. And then this is what your brain extends these two lines. And we're going to fix that up. It's not perfect yet. Um, let me add that arrow. I go from the tip of the object down to the surface. And so if you're running this problem, it's trying to lock. You see how it's trying to go on these guide points. Um, sometimes if this happens, um, move things out of the way. So I no longer need to know that this is exactly 20 clicks. If you delete it, it's fine. Um, I'm just going to move it out of the way. I'm just going to move it down. So it's out of the way. I do not need that information anymore. From the tip to the mirror, right at that intersection point, 
excellent. And then I draw my normal line. So I take uh, a line, I'm gonna go straight up. I then hold my shift key so it's nice and locked. I change my arrowhead to normal. I make it dotted so there's my normals and you see your angle of instance is about equal to your angle of reflection. Your angle of instance is about equal to your angle of reflection. So there's a problem with their diagram. The problem is we're drawing the part of the line that's going into the mirror as solid. So I'm actually going to back this line up. I'm going to back it all the way up to here, which is where it actually goes to, right? And then I'm going to fix it. So I'm going to redraw it so it lines up. And there's what your brain is extending into the mirror. Now, if you're getting um, really worried that it doesn't look perfectly exactly straight, I'm not going to like lose my mind about that. I know you're basically extending it. We need to fix this line too. So again, um, I need to make it a dotted line on this side of the mirror. It needs to be dotted because this is what your brain is extending into the mirror. So I go and I line that up exactly with where it goes there. Perfect. And now I grab a line and it's connected to right there. That actually looks really good. Um, and I'll make that a dotted line. And we are good. So I've now done half of my drawing. Um, if you find it overwhelming with all the black lines, one thing you can do, if it just helps you keep organized, I'm just holding down the shift key to multi-select different ob uh, objects in my drawing. If you find it easier to color code, I can make these lines purple. So I know that that's for those lines. And now I'm going to do the bottom, repeating the steps I did. So I'm going to go grab my arrow to tool. I go from the bottom of my object right to the corner of my eye. I go from the bottom of my object right to the corner of my eye. Eesh, not my best drawing. I'll have to adjust that before I give it to you guys. Ideally, the surface of the mirror should be there. I then repeat my steps. So I'm now going to go from the actual bottom of my object to where that is hitting the mirror. And I go from the actual bottom of the object to where it's hitting the mirror. I'll approximate that to be right about there. I forgot my normals. So I'll take a second and draw my normals in. It's going to be a straight line. I do not want an arrowhead on my line. So there's one normal right there. I'm going to make it dotted. And I'll draw my other normal right. Ooh, I noticed a problem here. I put my arrowhead right there. I need an arrowhead. Poof. There we go. Perfect. And I'll just draw my normal right there fantastic i'll make that dotted so there's my normal fantastic and then the last thing is i need to clean up this these ends of the lines lines so again i'm gonna look carefully where it um that ray would actually be bouncing up the mirror and i oops i did that wrong i was holding down the shift key right to there perfect and then i draw in that the what your brain is extending there looks pretty good to me i take off the arrowhead i add it to make dots and we are good and i need to repeat for this one here so i Go back to the surface of the mirror. That looks really good. Take your time with these and it doesn't hurt to kind of go slowly. Um, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm going quick. I've practiced this like 40 times before making this video just so I can make sure it looks good. There's our line that I'm going to then take off the arrowhead and make it dotted. There we go. And again, if you like color coding, if you find it confusing to keep track of everything, oops. Wrong thing to do there. Um, if you're finding confusing to keep track of everything, um, you can color code. So I'm not going to lose my mind if you color code things to keep track. So I'll just hold down the shift key to multi select um, all these different lines. 
I'll make those hideous green just to make it nice and obvious that they're different. And that looks like an amazing drawing. Um, that's exactly what I expect. So when I look at these drawings, I'm looking for arrowheads. Um, let me zoom in just to make sure that it's obvious what I'm looking for. So the first thing I look for is I look for arrowheads on your incident rays. So arrowhead, arrowhead, excellent. Arrowhead, arrowhead. So you, you would be fine there. The next thing I look to make sure is do your reflected rays all have arrowheads to show the direction the light is traveling? You do. I then check to make sure you have normals. That looks good. I make sure that you have dotted lines on the uh, virtual side of the mirror for your image. And finally, I check to make sure the angle of instance is approximately close to the angle of reflection, which they look good. Um, these kind of items, not needed, but that's what I'm looking for overall when I'm looking at these um, di ray diagrams to locate objects in plain mirrors. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.